Flying over people can be tricky, especially when the well-being of those you are flying over could be at risk, as it is if an accident happens. With this in mind, the FAA has regulations that address flights over human beings. However, before we get into the regulations, let's discuss the remote PIC's responsibilities when operating over people. In addition to the other operational requirements of Part 107, a remote PIC conducting operations over people must determine that he or she is using the right category of SUAS operation, perform all recommended pre-flight actions, including a pre-flight assessment that accounts for additional risk inherent in operations over people, verify that the SUAS is properly labeled for Category 2 or 3 operations, Verify that the DOC has been accepted by the FAA for Category 2 or 3 operations. Visit the resources page for this training on FAAsafety.gov for the FAA UAS DOC website, where you can confirm that a UA serial number is listed in an FAA-approved Declaration of Compliance, or DOC. Now, let's discuss some regulations. The regulations clearly state that no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft over a human being unless a. that human being is directly participating in the operation of the small unmanned aircraft, b. that human being is located under a covered structure or inside a stationary vehicle that can provide reasonable protection from a falling small unmanned aircraft, or c. The operation meets the requirements of at least one of the operational categories specified in subpart D of this part. So in this section, let's discuss that subpart D. Subpart D refers specifically to operations over human beings, and it tells us about the eligibility and operating requirements to operate over human beings or over moving vehicles. Subpart D refers to drone categories of operations. Category 1 operations are limited to SUAS with a maximum weight of 0.55 pounds or 250 grams. Category 2 or 3 operations may only be conducted with small unmanned aircraft that fulfill performance-based standards that limit the likelihood and severity of injuries based on potential hazards. Category 4 operations are limited to SUAS with FAA-issued airworthiness certificates. Remember, the categories and their constraints do not change due to conditions of night. Manufacturers who produce SUAS eligible to operate over people at night will most likely need to consider the mass of the anti-collision lights in declaring the SUAS fulfills the safety level criteria. In this next movie, we'll discuss the categories in more detail. It's important to have these categories clear so that we know exactly what we can and cannot do.